All right, guys, welcome to yet another video for the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Now, off lately, we've made this video for the Mi 11X and the Poco X3 Pro as well, wherein a new TWRP recovery is available, which will allow full support of encryption and decryption on Android 12 ROMs. Now, that is really, really important because it makes your phone much more usable. You don't need a memory card or SD card. You don't need an OTG pen drive to flash ROMs. In today's video, we're quickly going to see how to flash it using both the methods. First, I will flash it using the computer and then I will show you if you're already on a TWRP recovery, how to go ahead and update it to the latest version. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, now what you see over here is TWRP 3.6.2, unofficial Android 12 updated on 22nd of June. Android 12 encryption is now fully supported with pin, password, and pattern. Added support for EROFS, right? So that is good. There is also one more latest build that is available that you saw at the start of the video. We will not be talking about that today because that is intended for F2FS supported ROMs, this one. Now, first we will talk about the Android 12 supported TWRP, okay? Now, as far as the download is concerned, this is going to be a 128 MB image. So no big file size or nothing to worry there. So let's quickly go ahead and download this download okay it's downloading now of course you need to have a redmi note 10 pro with an unlocked bootloader you need to have more than 50 percent battery you need to have a computer with an active internet connection and a usb cable of course and last you need platform tools which is a small uh, zip file you can extract it to a location of your choice and this recovery image file that you're downloading you can paste it in the root of the folder of platform tools and then you can begin the flashing process. Now, ideally, this is not needed, but just to be safe, I would recommend you guys to back up all the information on your device, including your photos, music, because these are custom things and sometimes things may happen wherein your device might get into a boot loop. And in that case, to fix it, you might have to do a clean flash or format your phone. So it is always a good habit, a good practice to make sure you've backed up all the information on your personal device. Right now, let's first put the device in fast boot mode. To do that, press and hold volume down and power together and keep it pressed till the time you see the fast boot logo. There you go. Okay, it's in fast boot. The color is very, very dark of this logo. But yes, with the naked eye, you can see that it is in fast boot indeed. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a USB cable and we're going to connect one end to the computer and the second end to your phone. The device is now connected to the computer. Now, the first thing to do is to identify if the device is detected. So let's move to the computer screen now. Okay, now I have extracted my platform tools folder in the gadgets folder over here. Now you can extract this folder to a location of your choice, as you can see, and the latest TWRP IMG file, I have pasted it over here. Now go to this address bar at the top, click here and type in CMD and hit enter. Now the first thing to do here is to identify if your device is detected, for which the command is fast boot. Space devices and hit enter. Okay, now this serial number that you see, this means that the device is detected. Now, one more important aspect over here is you need to make sure that your fast boot drivers for the PC or Windows are installed. Now, ideally, that is not a concern because when you unlock your device, those drivers are mandatory. So, in all probability, you will have it installed. Now, we need to flash the recovery. So, the code is fast boot flash recovery space and drag this file here and hit enter okay now as you can see it is sending the recovery image there you go the recovery has been flashed now you can disconnect the cable press and hold volume up and power and keep it pressed till the time you see the mi logo okay now hopefully it should boot into twrp just fine as you can see it is booting into twrp 
Okay, now it's asking me to decrypt the data. So I will use my lock screen password over here. And as you can see, it has decrypted the data successfully. Now let's go to install. And as you can see, you can see all the files. Okay, now over here, you have all the other options that are required. Let's quickly go to reboot system and see if we are still able to boot into MIUI because when I did this with the Mi 11X, it just boot looped and it did not allow me to boot into MIUI. But at this time, I think we are on a custom ROM, so this should relatively work just fine. So the Note 10 Pro has booted into the ROM or the stock ROM just fine. Now we will press and hold volume up and power to boot into TWRP again to see if our TWRP recovery is not overwritten. Keep it pressed till the time you see the MI logo once again and release the buttons. Now let's see if it enters TWRP or not. No, right. Now this is the reason I did it because you need to make sure that you either flash images or you do something in order to make sure that TWRP sticks at least on stock or MIUI based ROMs. So let's reboot and I'll quickly flash it once again and then we will enter TWRP. So we are in fast boot, connect the phone, in this command window, just press up arrow and hit enter. Okay, we are done here. Press and hold volume up and power to boot into TWRP. Now one way to make sure that your TWRP sticks and doesn't get overwritten by MIUI recovery is to root the device by flashing matches. Okay, let's decrypt the data. All right, now, so far we've spoken about the first method. Now we are going to talk about the second method. Say you already have an old version of TWRP installed. You don't really have access to a computer or you don't want to mess with it. You can just go ahead and install it from your phone itself. So for that, what you need to do is you need to go to install. We downloaded it on the phone, so go to download, select install image, select the TWRP IMG file and select the recovery partition, swipe to confirm flash, bam. Your recovery is now updated, reboot and select recovery and you should be doing just fine. So all in all, this latest recovery makes your phone much more usable as far as custom ROMs are concerned. You can flash this from a computer or from the device itself. I have shown you the complete guide the download links are mentioned in the description. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about the video. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.